ladies and gentlemen hey hi how you doing welcome back to the channel thank you so much for stopping by here in season four we have kind of an interesting assault rifle meta because we've seen several changes with the launch update and then shortly after launch with some fine tuning here and there so today i wanted to do a broad overview of the entire assault rifle category rank every rifle we have right now and of course break down the setups for the absolute best of the best as well as we go through it all if you enjoy the video at any point let me know by dropping a like on it and if you're new to the channel feel free to hit that subscribe button that way you can always guarantee you were up to date with absolutely everything going on in the world of cod so we of course have our tier list here and i'm sure you can tell we have not updated this in quite some time there are some fixes that need to be in place so first up here we'll just go down and uh, sort as needed here the xm4 is still a top meta choice for sure especially when it comes to just rifles good velocity good range good damage good control all around very solid cold war ak competitive at best now because the recoil nerfs the damage nerfs that we've seen over the past couple of seasons obviously we haven't gone through and ranked all these necessarily in some time as mentioned so that's a long overdue uh d ranking there c58 kind of the same deal i mean it's powerful it has a decent ttk but honestly uh it, it's control and the necessary headshots required for a pristine ttk there's a little, uh, oh, you know, extra, I guess you could say, overwhelming in some cases, so I'm not a huge fan of that. Vargo, best non-Vanguard rifle in the game right now. Absolutely top meta. Farah, I would say, is top meta as well. STG is staying. I think the Automaton maybe drops down into competitive specifically because there are some uh, more consistent options. Same deal with the AS44. As good as the TTK is with it, uh, its control, especially over long range, is not super ideal. It's definitely more of a close to mid-range dominator. And even then, I think there are some better options, like, for instance, the Cooper, which I'll bump up there. Uh, and because, just because it's low recoil, really good damage, and it also got buffed with the Season 4 update, so it's going to be even more consistent. Uh, so I feel like that sort of replaces the as 44 in that case and of course the amax one of my favorite guns of all time it's just it's kind of meh now we all know it's been nerfed into the ground for no real reason which is very unfortunate now of course some of these guns are going to get bumped up obviously but moving into the competitive area here the ram the m4 m13 kilo growl amax all these mw guns they're competitive but they're not top meta like if you have a one-on-one -on -one against a good player using a ram versus an stg versus some of these other guns that we're going to bump up it's just it's not going to work out well for you the mw guns are all right but they're slower they're just not as consistent which is unfortunate they're all competitive though em2 same deal as the c58 recoil is a bit uh too overwhelming to be considered top meta but it does have a good ttk the bar obviously is a top meta choice and so is the nz no surprises there these two in the stg are like the top three rifles essentially you could pick and choose any one and you have a good answer right so of course those got to be up there the volk i would still consider it to be competitive more of a sniper support option yet again and i mean the cooper is sort of the king of that however the nikita avt i think belongs in top meta honestly i mean the thing does fry it's got a really good damage range great sniper support and if you wanted to try and use it over range you could build a setup for that as well then we get into some of the more viable options i do think the krig probably makes its way into competitive i don't think it's top meta but it's up there with like the c58 and whatnot ffar it could be competitive as well especially after the buff that it got recently so that's not a bad choice qbz is top meta though they really haven't touched the qbz in quite some time the thing is very similar in terms of comparison to like the xm4 and the fara for ttk for control for range and they're all around very very similar uh to one another the grows up i don't think it's anything better than viable mwak definitely is not a94 as well just lackluster in a lot of ways kgm40 top meta for sure the thing does fry super low recoil very consistent it traversed maybe you could make an argument for competitive but i don't think it's really anything better than that it's borderline competitive and viable so i'm gonna leave it there for the time being uh the mw famas the fr556 good ttk especially over range but that burst just ain't it viable at best grav really really good for sniper support a fantastic ttk but that control it, it makes me hesitant to bring it anywhere higher than competitive but i think it has a home there uh the scar the odin extremely below average just because the magazine capacity and the control are not it and then as far as niche goes the fal really only a top tier weapon for those that can spam it and have it like a super fast rate of fire and the as val just because it's really only good in solos because that magazine size outside of that though we have a very very solid rifle meta in my opinion little vanguard dominant but there are some alternatives there that are pretty consistent so that said let's break down the loadouts here now let's get some of the easy ones out of the way of course the xm4 the vargo the fara and the qbz all cold war rifles the only non good grief that was bright we're not going to preview this uh the only non vanguard weapons that are in the top meta category and they all have the exact same setup 
the basic Cold War copy and paste. Gru suppressor, or agency suppressor, task force barrel, Spetsnaz, or the field agent grip, the 60 round mag, and the three times optics. So any of those four weapons I just named, throw on this exact setup and it's gonna work the same on all of them. We can sort of knock out four weapons at once. We don't have to spend too much time repeating the same five attachments four different times, but they all are super competitive in this meta right now. Now the STG setup really hasn't changed all that much. We're still running MX silencer. We got the 760 barrel on there. Any optic that you're comfortable with, three to six times, 2.5 times is my personal preference. I like the folding stock. The recoil here is just super easy. So you don't really need precision or weighted. They're just going to slow you down. So folding to me works just fine. Hand stop on here. If there was like an M1915, uh, you know, uh, ready grip or whatever it's called, it, that'd be solid. Uh, but there's not, this is going to be your best for control. I mean, Carver just slows down your ADS more. Not really a huge fan of that. I don't feel like you want to go for movements. And obviously there's like no horizontal control. So you don't need uh stride fangled on there. 50 and lengthened on there per usual. Hatched for the better control. Nerves of steel for better control and then fully loaded on there as well. Now for the Cooper, this is more of like a sniper support, mid range hybrid weapon, you could say. MX silencer, Cooper custom barrel for the best range control, keeping us off the map. Again, same deal with the optics. I like the 2.5 times, especially for sniper support. You could go for the padded stock for that better control during sustained fire or 45 RS for the better ADS and initial firing recoil either or there is going to work just fine I like the skeletal underbarrel here for some better movement the recoil is just so easy I don't feel like you need hand stop so I prefer the movement upgrade there 9 mil 60 the compressed rounds for that better fire rate to help out the TTK the hatch grip yet again tight grip for better control and once more fully loaded to maximize that ammo on the bar pretty standard setup honestly mx silencer largest barrel again so the 30 inch in this case three to six times here just because it's so low recoil when you zoom into six times you can still fry and have like no recoil basically it's just so easy to stay on target wire stock here for the better movement again the recoil is just too easy you don't need an extra stock to help out with that hand stop for the slightly better control uh the 40 round mags here crucial part of the setup for the better control movement speed ads and fire rate lengthened hatched or polymer both would work well there hard scope for better control and you guessed it more fully loaded honestly the nz setup doesn't really change even though it was nerfed a few days back mx silencer 360 barrel three to six times epac for better control hand stop again the 50 round mags lengthened hatched Brace for that initial firing recoil and fully loaded. We've talked about this setup a handful of times already. Despite the nerfs, it's still frying and super easy to use, in my opinion. Uh, it has a little bit more recoil than before, but nothing that's like unmanageable. Now for the Nikita, this is kind of a mid-range build yet again. We do have the MX silencer and the precision barrel here, which will help out with the velocity, the range, and the control, just in a more aggressive way than the sniper or the 613 barrel. So you still have that agility, at least a little bit more agility for sniper support. 2.5 times, same deal with the optics yet again. The notch stock here for not only a Minecraft reference, but also uh, recoil control. We got hand stop, we got the 50 round mags, lengthened, hatched, perfectionist for better control, and once more, fully loaded. And then lastly on the KGM-40, again, a pretty standard setup in my own opinion. MX silencer, the shrouded barrel here for the best control, best velocity out there. 2.5 times, three to six, whatever you are the most comfortable with. Padded stock for a lot of recoil properties, but also better movement speed, which is a nice added bonus on there. Hand stop, I prefer the basic 60 round extended mag. You could try the 30 on six if you wanted to. I just don't really like how they feel in game despite the better damage and range. 60 extended works fine for me. Lengthened, hatched, or polymer on there yet again. Tight grip for the better control and fully loaded once more for today. And that being said, that's gonna wrap things up. That is the current assault rifle meta and all the rifles ranked as it stands. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you're new here, feel free to hit that sub button and turn on those post notifications. That way you can always get guarantee you are up to date with everything going on in Call of Duty. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.